It's been a long journey, partly because I only came to know James about four years ago when my father passed away. And um, we met at a memorial for my father. Um, we came to talking about James's artwork and his vision. And, and it was from that point when we came to the studio here that we realized that James's art world, his creativity, his passion, his organic artwork would really resonate in Singapore. I've always wanted to show in gardens. And for the last 10, 12, 13 years, I've really been concentrating on making art for gardens. And by that, I mean outdoors, bronze and stainless steel. Oh man, who wouldn't want to show in gardens in Singapore? It's like a, kind of at the top of the apex in a way. Christine had a dinner party and she invited her friends. She had a friend there named Andreas. There was a real psychological connection. Andreas is a very special person. He's a dear friend. He and his family um, are big supporters of the arts. I think Andreas, when he met James, recognized James' passion, as well as the relevance of his artwork there. So I think that is what grabbed him to move this forward. And he was really ultimately the catalyst, not only as a donor, but also in securing a really important beautiful site in the middle of the Tannic Gardens. The client wanted um, some, some reference in this piece to uh, a diptera carp seed, which is this tree that's kind of considered the national tree of Singapore. So we went online, looked at, and just started pulling up images of the seed. Okay, here's a bunch of them. And then we, once we made that decision, uh, James and I started making the patterns together for the casting process. Much about James's art is about James himself, and I think he, you know, I find it very spiritual, very poetic, very organic, and it's very much a reflection of him. There's 50 petals on each flower, so we have 100 of these halves that we have to weld back together and chase the welds down. And then each one of those has a piece of stainless steel tube or pipe placed into it because the bronze in and of itself is, is structurally, it's not uh, strong enough, let's say, to hold this piece, which is gonna be 1,500 pounds. The integration of the stainless um, serves that purpose, structural purposes, and as well as visual, because it allows us to arrange all the petals in the right position. I can quit any time if you want to do that. Let's use this one as we'll use this one as the center of the piece. So this one needs to be over here. When I met Andreas, he said, you know, well, what about if we buy one? That is an extraordinarily positive thing in an artist's life. Now you're looking into the eye of someone who's looking back, and they're saying yes. They're functioning with a smile. There's a, there, that connection keeps its upward mobility, so to speak. So he wanted to buy a piece and give to the, to the country as a gift to celebrate their 50th anniversary.
artist live for that moment? And what is that moment? What, 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 what am I talking about when I say that moment? It's that moment of affirmation. It's that moment when there is a consummation of concept, an idea. Existing to something that exists. <laughs>